and this is one of the most requested features in AVD history. Well, it finally happened. Your guests can now open their Windows apps, sign in with their own credentials, and they'll see their desktops and remote apps that you've given them access to. They click, sign in, and there you go, AVD guest access. So how do we set this up? Now all of your session hosts are going to need to be Windows 11 24H2 with KB5065789 or newer. And to keep from having to say those things ever again, I'm just gonna go with 25H2. Now your hosts also have to be Entra Cloud joined and you need single sign-on enabled on the pool's RDP properties, as well as for your Entra tenant overall, which does take a little bit of PowerShell and all the commands are linked in the video description and I just ran them in the cloud shell. Now on the client side, all of your guests must be using the Windows app on a Windows device or they can use the web client. And finally, we need some external IDs. In your Entra ID tenant, go over here to the users and then add a new user and invite an external user. Put in their email and you can set their display name type them a message if you like, and this link down here at the bottom does all of the magic. And that's gonna get emailed to them when we're done. Click next, and now you can fill out as much or as little of the properties as you like, but at the bottom is one thing that you need to do. Click and add a usage location for the country that they're in, otherwise you will not be able to add any licenses to the users in the future. On the next page, we're gonna skip the intra group assignment and the roles, and then just go ahead and send them the invite. Now the users are gonna get an email that looks like this, and they're gonna need to click accept on their invitation. And then they sign in with their own credentials and accept the permissions that you're giving them from your tenant. And speaking of intra ID, click refresh in here and you'll see your new external user. And when they've accepted everything and they're ready to go, then it'll tell you that they're external. Now jump over to the AVD portal and go to the app group that you want to give people access to, go to the assignments and add that new external guest ID. Now when they go and open their Windows app client, they won't actually see your AVD environment yet. That's because the user by default gets signed on to their own Entra ID tenant and they need to switch to yours. Now here in the web client, they can just click their badge and then click to switch organizations and then select your tenant. And then they'll see whatever it is that you've given them access to. Now in the Windows app, it's different. You're gonna need to go to this page, which is again linked in the video description, and you're gonna need to add a registry key so that when they sign in, they have the ability to click the sign in options and then choose to sign into an organization. Type in the name of your tenant click next, and then sign in with their own guest username and password. And we're gonna need one more thing because if you've ever used cloud joined hosts, you know that the users aren't gonna be able to sign in yet. And that's because you need to grant them VM sign in rights, which I prefer to do here in the resource group. Just go up to access control and then add a role assignment, search for login and select the virtual machine user login, click next, Click over here and select your members and then add your new guest IDs. And now finally, when the guests open their app and they're signed into the right organization, they can click and launch and there you go. And now I'll just quickly open a command prompt and type winver. So you can see I'm using 25H2 and that has all of the required updates and patches built in. Then if we type the dsreg slash status, we can see that we're only cloud joined and you're a member of my Entra tenant, but the user is from another tenant. But like all preview features, there are some trade-offs you need to be aware of. Now, at the time of this recording, this only works in the Azure public cloud, and since the users are guests, you can't apply any Intune policies on them. You can, though, still use your device-based policies. FS Logics is also not supported at this time, so your guests are just going to get normal Windows profiles on each host that they sign into. There's also no support for Entra ID Kerberos or NTLM authentication at this time, and cross-cloud guest access is not supported at this time, so you couldn't do like guest inception, you know? It's just not gonna happen yet. 
So with that list of limitations, why would anyone want to use this? Well, how about training sessions, contractors, partners, seasonal workers, basically anytime someone out there needs to access stuff in here. And you don't need to create and manage their accounts and password resets and all of that stuff. And it also keeps your environment a whole lot cleaner since people usually forget to clean up temporary access accounts. And it does reduce the major security risk of shadow ops where people grant access outside the normal processes to people who are just going to be here for a while and nobody will know. Finally, it'll just cut down on all the extra firewall rules and VPNs and extra trusts that we've had to set up in the past when we want corp to corp communications. And that's not the only new thing in AVD. You're gonna wanna check out this video on the future of Azure Virtual Desktop. And happy learning.